Good evening. Welcome to our presentation today. And what we're going to be speaking about is, can healthy eating really increase your lifespan? Well, that's a question that's been asked for many, many years. And there's always going to be those outliers. Well, we had Uncle Joe, and Uncle Joe lived till he was 106. And Uncle Joe ate everything wrong and drank adult alcohol beverages like a fish. Well, there's going to be an occasional Uncle Joe. But by and large, what we do know now is that healthy eating has been scientifically proven to increase lifespan, increase longevity and vitality. So let's talk a little bit about that today and how do we know that this is true. Well, I'm Dr. Kelly Birkenstock. Many of you know me. Our YouTube channel is Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health. We have offices in Mandeville, Louisiana and New Orleans, Louisiana. We are also licensed in Alabama and Florida where we go uh, to those states and we do presentations, events, and we actually see clients there as well. Nationwide, we do do Zoom, teleconference, and personal consultations. And if we can help you in any way, our website is info, excuse me, our email is info at skinbodyhealth.com. That's info at skinbodyhealth.com. Dr. Birkenstock is spelled with a U. That's B-U-R-K-E-N. S T O C K. So be you, Birkenstock. Um, our website is skinbodyhealth.com. We come to you on Tuesdays to tell you about anti aging tips, longevity tips, and other things that can improve your vitality and longevity and decrease unwanted disease, cancers, and other things. Just simply by changing your lifestyle. Uh, exercise habits, and dietary intake. Did you know that any of the fast food places, no matter what they advertise, have foods that are very, very harmful to the human body? So anything from a fast food restaurant is full of uh, exotoxins, um, all kinds of xenoestrogens, and things that make our bodies age faster, get diseases faster, like cancer, and create infertility. Do you know that we have the highest rate of infertility than we've had in three generations? You may ask why. Well, the answer to why is from fast food restaurants and processed foods. Fried foods, fried uh, chickens, and all of these uh, fried burgers, anything you can think of that we are frying our foods instead of baking, broiling, or, or any other, even boiling, some other means of cooking. So in the JAMA, which is the Journal of American Medical Association, one of the most highest respected scientific journals, in January of 2023, JAMA presented a study that said, good diets, healthy diets, and it's not just eating one way. So it could be the Mediterranean diet, or a vegetarian diet, or a vegetarian diet with fish, or just a good diet with lean meats, lean poultries, uh, which is a lot encompassing the Mediterranean diet, with a bountiful of fresh fruits and vegetables, absolutely did improve longevity and vitality. We saw a decrease in death from all cause, any cause, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, cancer, etc. So a decrease in death from all causes, a uh, decrease in heart attacks, strokes, congestive heart failure, and any other heart disease. We saw a decrease in all types of cancer, a decrease in respiratory or lung disorder and disease death, and a decrease in neurodegenerative diseases, which or nerves, brain, nerve, and spinal cord. So any of the nerve-related diseases like ALS, um, etc., including Alzheimer's and dementia. And I keep saying that word all because there's not many times in scientific data that we can use the words all and really mean that encompasses and includes all. But this study proved that it did. So if any of you are interested, I will post a link to this 
on my uh, YouTube channel and on our website. And again, that's Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health on YouTube. And our website is skinbodyhealth.com. So this JAMA article did show us, or a scientific study, uh, dated January 2023, that no matter which of the better diets across internationally that you choose, if you're not eating the processed foods, foods in a box, foods in a can, um, and, and you're using whole fresh fruits and vegetables that consistently among different racial groups, whether they were Hispanic, Black, Caucasian, Alaskan, didn't matter. Whether uh, uh, any sort of racial, any sort of ethnic variety, everyone did better. Everyone lived longer. So that's a beautiful thing. So let's talk about some of our top 10 superfoods. And they're so easy because you can simply wash them and eat them. Or, you, of course, you can cook them. But the fresher, the better. Now, what do we notice that when we look across this food potpourri that I have spread out? And these are uh, our top superfoods. Well, what we notice is that they're colorful. Why? Does that mean anything? Well, it absolutely does. So, when you have fruits and vegetables like green broccoli, orange yellow papaya, red bell pepper, green avocado, orange sweet potato, green spinach, and then our variety of nuts and seeds, what uh, blueberries, of course they're blue purple, and the almighty incredible edible ache. What do they all have in common? They're rich in antioxidants, uh, inflammation fighting properties. When inflammation is down, longevity increases. And they also improve skin. So that, that's just a beauty tip thrown in there. So anything that decreases inflammation improves our skin. So a lot of these foods that we're discussing tonight have some certain things in common. Most of them, if not all of them, are very high in vitamin C. So what does vitamin C do? A lot of things around the body, a lot of repair and regeneration, and it also repairs and rebuilds collagen. Well, collagen, of course, is great for the skin and keeping us look young, but it does more than that. Collagen supports bone health, organ health, skin health, hair health, and nail health. So collagen isn't just about skin, but it is very, very important for skin. We need collagen for strong bones. Bones help our skeleton to stay intact as we age. Prevent us from getting into a wheelchair, perhaps because we have stronger bones that can support us as we get through that aging process. So vitamin C is found in many of these foods we have sitting here, like broccoli, the red bell pepper, the spinach, the green avocado, the blueberries, and the papaya. Uh, now papaya is one of those often overlooked foods, and I specifically love papaya because it's so full of vitamins like A, C, K, E, magnesium, uh, phosphorus and all of your B vitamins and it's not just the meat of the papaya that's good for us actually if you wash the skin and eat the papaya seeds they're excellent in phytochemicals and phytonutrients phytochemicals sounds like a bad word but those are actually good things for the body right they're antioxidants that decrease inflammation and improve the body's longevity and health um, the papaya is also very, very good for eye and heart health. Um, the antioxidants in fermented papaya can hardly be compared. So if you can get yourself fermented papaya, it's not available everywhere. It's excellent. It's one of those other from fermented foods like sauerkraut that are excellent for longevity, vitality, improving gut, gut health because it's got normal or, or, or a, it's a normal form when it's fermented of prebiotics and probiotics. Um, spinach, you know, uh, Popeye and Pals always promoted spinach. Why? Because it gave Popeye his strong muscles and those little cartoons were teaching us a lot. Spinach is one of our best forms of iron, also vitamin C, and um, it, it, it's been shown to improve longevity and skin health. So 
Spinach has got the A, the C, the E, and the K vitamins, magnesium, and a huge dose of iron. So don't forget your spinach. And as we said before, foods with color are the best foods for longevity and increased improvement in health. So before you grab for the fried mozzarella stick or the fried mushroom cap, go for the spinach and artichoke salad, okay? If all they've got in whatever, say you're in a restaurant and they've got spinach and artichoke dip, did you know you can order a fresh side of spinach to go with it? Mix it all together and you've just doubled the important nutrient ingredient of that little appetizer and you've improved the calorie count and 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 you've improved the the whole nutritional side of that dish so try that sometimes it's very very good you know blueberries are just a wonderful wonderful antioxidant and a fruit they can be put next to an omelet they can put be put on top of a uh, Greek yogurt, and they're just jam-packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. So, can we eat like this every day? Well, some of us are lucky enough to eat like this every day. However, we may not always have access or the time to make our fresh broccoli uh, with some nuts, walnuts, full of uh, vitamin E and antioxidants and omega-3s, almonds, which are great for heart health, eye health, skin health. We may not always have access to these fresh fruits every single day, although hopefully on most days that we do. So what can you do? You can either throw a lot of these into and make a smoothie, and we've done before and we'll put up again some grease, green smoothie alternatives, and we will be talking about chocolate protein smoothies next week. But what can you do when you can't get to uh, these fresh foods and maybe you're out of town or you, you've worked late and, and don't have a fresh supply available. Well, by all means, please do our multivitamin skin body health Vitality. Vitality's got the GMP seal of approval. That's the FDA seal of approval, which tells you that it's made in the FDA facility. So you know that it's got potent and medical grade vitamins and minerals right here in the bottle. In addition to that, we've got our alkaline greens, which has got fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, nothing non-organic in it. So you're getting your red, your green, your orange fruits and vegetables right here in one scoop of alkaline greens. You can put it in water, you can put it in juice, or you can throw it in a smoothie. And just these two items, one scoop of alkaline green powder, which has got your fresh fruits, vegetables, probiotics and prebiotics, and one vitality, and if nothing else, you've uh, re replaced a lot of what you weren't able to get that particular day. So if you're in a rush and can't make these fresh fruits and vegetables available to you, by all means, do the Vitality and Alkaline Greens. You can go to our store, SkinBodyHealth.com, and normally these retail for $160. But you, we have the longevity bundle, and it's Vitality and Alkaline Greens, and those are uh, bundled for $124. So that's $124. Anybody that likes and shares our webinar tonight, uh, we're going to give away five of these bundles, a Vitality and an Alkaline Green bundle, retail value of $160 for the first five people who like and share. We're right now live on TikTok, Instagram, and our Facebook personal and business pages. So go ahead and like and share us. We'd love to be a part of your family and friends. And perhaps something we're saying tonight can help someone that you know. And we're always here to help everyone. Um, so the foods that we're talking about, which ones actually known to decrease cancer or prevent cancer from even taking hold in your body? Well, that would be the spinach, spinach, papaya, and broccoli all known throughout different uh, studies to prevent and treat and help cancer. What about collagen? Well, anything that's got vitamin C. So the broccoli, the red bell pepper, the avocado, the blueberries, and by all means, the papaya. And the papaya is a very large fruit, and if you're buying it in a store and it's very, and it's very big variety, you can always cut it similar to a cantaloupe. It's got seeds in the middle, 
then the layer of meat, and then the skin. And if you wash off the skin very well, um, if you don't mind it, you can throw it into some smoothies because you'll get all the benefits of the skin and the nutrients that are caught up in this skin that you might miss a little bit from the meat, although the meat is jam-packed with papain and other enzymes, antioxidants as well. Um, avocado, it's so great. Uh, at some point in time, it was kind of given a bad mark because it was called a high fat vegetable or fruit. It's technically a fruit, although most people think of it as a vegetable. But avocado is full of fiber. So if you're on one of those people that may have Crohn's or uh, uh, any of those other irritable bowel syndromes, colitis, Crohn's, all sort of colitis, um, and you need fiber, but when you go to eat something like a broccoli, you have such a problem with your bowels, avocado is absolutely your answer. Some people don't think because it's so smooth and silky that it can actually have fiber. It is packed full of fiber. So don't forget Mr. Avocado, the fat that is inside of this avocado, the little green avocado, it's great fat, okay? It's omega-3 fat. It's a wonderful fat, uh, monounsaturated fat. So please eat a lot of it. Wait, look, we have a question. What's the best foods to recover after workout for your joints? Well, when we have a joint issues, that's usually a, a, a magnesium deficiency. So you want foods that are high and rich in magnesium, and there are tons of them, you know, like your spinach, um, papaya, just to name two of them. And then also we have a product called Mag3 Night. And Mag3 Night has three different types of magnesium in it. Um, very easy to replace the magnesium after you've burned it up. And if you're getting Charlie horses or muscle cramps in addition to joints, this is the magic muffin. Magnesium 3 night. It's got three different types of elemental magnesium. You can find it on our store, Mag 3 night. You take it at night. It's great for your bowels. It also helps the joints and the muscles. And you can use it after workout. But be sure to use it at night because it's, uh, it will tend to make people... Mm, a little calmer, a little more restful, and ready to go to sleep. The other thing you can try is 100% tart cherry juice. Uh, tart cherry juice has elements in from nature that will absolutely improve the health of your joints. It's just wonderful, and it's from nature. So, yeah. Okay. Um, we always thank you for tuning in. I'm Dr. Birkenstock, Skin Body Health, YouTube channel, Dr. Birkenstock, with a U, B U R K E N. S -T -O -C -K. Next week we'll be talking about boosting your protein to drop some of that winter flab as we're moving in on into spring. And that smoothie is not going to only have a protein mix in it, but we'll tell you some other goodies that you can put in it as well. Um, it's always a pleasure to serve you. So we're going to sign out for tonight. Thank you so much and we look forward to speaking to you soon.